instruction guide video down below. Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. Welcome back to the channel. Today in QuickBooks Point of Sale, we are going to explore another method to quickly and easily check out items that may not be easily uh, tagged or barcoded. Maybe they're you got maybe you got bins of items. Let's see. Let's say a fishing store. They've got all sorts of lures in buckets or jig heads, and you can't really label these. And so, in the past, we have spoken uh, of quick pick items and how you can quickly make these buttons here to check out those types of items where you can't really scan them. But let's explore another method. Uh, some people appreciate this method a little more, or it, it's just easier for them. It's really all what is the easiest for you and what fits your store, what fits your employees, what do they want to do, what do you want to do. So let's jump into that. But before we do, I'm going to have you click on the link down in the description below to get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group where we will answer all questions about QuickBooks Point of Sale. We have a community of over a thousand members in there and they are all running QuickBooks Point of Sale and they know what they're doing as well. Or, you know, we'll come together as a collective and we will pitch in and have a dialogue and figure out what ails you. And if you're on YouTube today, don't forget to hit subscribe so you get the latest, greatest QuickBooks Point of Sale videos coming at you all the time. Let's do this now. I'm going to call this method the Quick Scan Sheet. For lack of better words I think that's just what we're gonna call it so if you have numerous items that you would like to have quickly and easily able to scan and check out but they can't really have tags on them because they're small or maybe they're jewelry or maybe they're generic items of certain types that you just have price points for and maybe you're doing non inventory or what have you uh, this would be an easy way to do that so uh, on your item list here, you're going to want to kind of see if you can narrow down your item list to maybe the department that these ones are in because you're going to want to be able to find them all at the same time on this screen. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to create a filter and I am going to narrow this just down to accessories maybe so that that is all I'm looking at. Okay, so now I, I'm down to accessories. You may have like a bigger bunch or bigger group. Now find the items that you actually want to quickly check out or have available to you quickly. Uh, so I'm gonna click on the first one. Now I'm gonna hold down the control key on my keyboard. I'm gonna choose this, this, and this. And I want these to be my quick items that I'm able to easily and quickly scan and check out. So once I have them all highlighted by holding control and clicking on them, I'm going to go on the I want to menu and I'm going to print tags. You may also have print tags as a button over here if you've added it, but let's hit print tags. Uh, I'm going to choose my regular full size printer, which is something you need for this endeavor. <laughs> and then what you're going to choose, I'll probably choose the Avery 5160, and that should be just fine. Uh, you can you can ex experiment and explore these different templates and kind of what size they are. But essentially, the Avery 5160 is uh, intended to print barcode tags out on a sticker sheet that you might get at Walmart or at the store. It's those big Avery sheets. Uh, some people might know them as like envelope labels. And so we're just gonna choose that, but I am just going to print it on a regular sheet of paper and I'll show you why. Then, oh, let's see, one or more items you wish to print tags for have multiple units of measure. Okay, that's fine. Do you wanna to continue to print tags? Yes. So the sheet is gonna look like this, but we're gonna print it on regular paper. And what you can do is you can just laminate this regular sheet of paper and that would be your quick scan sheet. Let me go grab it. I'll be right back. So here we are. Uh, as you can see, we have, we only have four items here, but you could certainly, uh, you know, highlight and select a whole ton of items. 
and you would laminate the sheet and then when somebody comes up with one of those items you would just grab your laminated sheet and be like all right they're getting three of these and there you have oh they also got one of those so there you have it that is my quick scan sheet you probably want to laminate this so that it you know does not get damaged and you can use it all year maybe you make one if it gets damaged make another one next year but there you go there you have it uh, 